This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. How involved was the undertaker in his creative in this point, in this point? I mean, we've heard stories before that Austin would sometimes say, you know, he wouldn't say, what about this? He would just say, oh, that sucks. I don't like it or whatever. Uh, I'm paraphrasing, but the idea being he didn't always communicate what he would rather do, but he was pretty clear about, I like this. I don't like that. We've heard that pretty consistently was undertaker like that at all. Did he have a voice in any of that? Or was it just, okay, that's what y'all want to do. Yeah, no, Taker always had a voice and Taker had an opinion. And, and <laughs> a lot of times um, throughout the years, it would be Bruce, go sell him. Um, and I would be the one that would be charged with convincing the Undertaker to do something maybe that he, he wasn't completely enamored with and, and be the go-between to bring things back and forth and, and try to come up with a compromise. Do you remember any instance like that in 98 as we're sort of running through all that? Um, you know, the, the, I, I remember a big one, but it wasn't, it was, it was 99 really was the very live match on SmackDown, like the second or third week that Taker was just adamant about doing. He did not want to do it. We'll get there. Let's uh, pause. Yeah. We'll yeah. So, I mean, but that, that's the one that sticks out in my mind that it was really, a uh, um, Contentious, but take did what he needed to do. So on the, uh, on the heels of breakdown undertaker is going to turn full fledged heel. He attacks Vince McMahon after Vince announces the WWF title will be held up and a winner will be determined at survivor series. So taker and Kane destroy Vince, including his ankle. And then taker is on path to headline another pay-per-view this time. It's judgment day against Kane with Steve as the referee. So we just tried a baby face versus baby face pay-per-view main event. Now it's going to be heel versus heel. We're really trying some new things here. Uh, the guys go 17 minutes and 41 seconds. Uh, it's a no contest. Steve Austin is the referee at first. Austin's not counting as undertaker has Kane pinned, but when Kane has undertaker pinned, Austin gives a fast count. So we're trying to be creative, but still it's not, uh, it's not exactly maybe the best creative we ever saw. Eventually Paul bear comes out, asks Kane to step aside so he could hit undertaker with a chair. And then he hits Kane with a chair who no sells the chair. Kane goes after bear undertaker clocks him with a chair. Austin recovers and refuses to count undertakers arguing with Austin. Austin gives him a stunner and a chair shot and counts with both men laying on the mat rules them both the loser and announces he's the winner. And Austin says, Vince doesn't have the balls to fire me. So of course Vince fires him. And, uh, in the observer, it got negative half a star contentious, but take did what he needed to do. So on the, uh, on the heels of breakdown undertaker is going to turn full fledged heel. He attacks Vince McMahon after Vince announces the WWF title will be held up and a winner will be determined at survivor series. So taker and Kane destroy Vince, including his ankle. And then Taker is on path to headline another pay-per-view. This time it's judgment day against Kane with Steve as the referee. So we just tried a baby face versus baby face pay-per-view main event. Now it's going to be heel versus heel. We're really trying some new things here. Uh, the guys go 17 minutes and 41 seconds. Uh, it's a no contest. Steve Austin is the referee at first. Austin's not counting as undertaker has Kane pinned, but when Kane has undertaker pinned, Austin gives a fast count. So we're trying to be creative, but still it's not, uh, it's not exactly maybe the best creative we ever saw. Eventually Paul bear comes out, asks Kane to step aside so he could hit undertaker with a chair. And then he hits Kane with a chair who no sells the chair. Kane goes after bear undertaker clocks him with a chair. Austin recovers and refuses to count undertakers arguing with Austin. Austin gives him a stunner and a chair shot. And counts with both men laying on the mat, rules them both the loser, and announces he's the winner. And Austin says Vince doesn't have the balls to fire me. So, of course, Vince fires him. And uh, in the Observer, it got negative half a star. This is now right. two pay per views in a row right. with, with some gaga instead of a traditional match. Continue. Sorry. You're going to like this. Okay. 
You know, a lot of people love to knock Vince Russo. And we've had our fun with Vince Russo from time to time. But this is when Russo's voice was was being heard. Yeah. You know, and it was a new voice giving, you know, some of these ideas and, and his voice was being heard. Um I think that some of this shit was extremely creative and very, very good. It was it was out it was outside the lines. Yes. And we were coloring outside the lines and it was unpredictable and it was doing things we had never done before. So to that, you know, hats off. And, and that's why I got, you know, I'm laughing at, uh, what's his name's negative stars or whatever the hell he said. Um, because it, it was different. It was a good story. It, it kept people guessing. It was fun and you couldn't call it. Now, some would argue you couldn't call it because it was illogical. Um, but at the same time, yeah, some it was logical. Vince, you don't have the balls to fire me? Oh, yeah, fuck you, you're fired. Now people, what? You know, they're, they're not expecting that. They're expecting the, well, by God, I'll get you. So it was, I thought it was some, some interesting storytelling and good storytelling. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.